the light has come into the world. That's what our carol service is all about, but what does that actually mean? Well, the answer to that question is what we've been hearing about in our time together. But I'd like to just take the opportunity to unpack that a little bit more. In the Gospel of John, we read, the true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was speaking about Jesus. And once when Jesus was himself was speaking to some people, he said this, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, will have the light of life. When we look at all that's going on in our world right now, we can see that in many ways it's a dark place. We have Putin's war against Ukraine and all the other wars that have, let's face it, been forgotten. We have the dramatic impact of climate change, which for some countries has caused devastation, unimaginable loss. We see people living in abject poverty, hungry with little hope for the future. And we see people are so desperate to escape their situations, they will risk their lives in a barely seaworthy dinghy just for that hope of a new start. And then here at home we have all the worries, don't we, about the cost of living crisis, how we're going to make ends meet. And so there's no doubt that for many people these are dark times, which is why this time of the year is so special. It's special because we're reminded of the light that only Jesus can bring into the darkness of life. The darkness that Jesus was talking about was the darkness of not knowing God, of being separated from him. And it was that darkness that Jesus came to take away. When Jesus describes himself as a light, it's because he can show us the way to God. That's the reason we have the Advent wreath. Each of those candles reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. But how does that make a difference in our lives? Well, the answer to that lies in the words that the angels spoke to the shepherds, which we just read about. Do not be afraid. I bring you news that will cause great joy for all the people. And it's that good news which sits at the very heart of the Christmas story and why Jesus coming into the world was so important. Even though that angel, he appeared 2,000 years ago, those words are just as true for us here today. The good news the angel spoke of was for you, was for me, and for all people everywhere. No matter what's been happening in our lives, no matter what's happening in our country, no matter what is happening in the world, the message of the good news remains the same. Today, in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Those words changed everything then. And despite all the difficulties of life, despite all the darkness that we see around us, they continue to do the same today. The Jewish people had known for hundreds of years that the Messiah was to come. And at long last, God's promise had become a reality. God sent his only son, Jesus into the world to save the people and to bring them back into a relationship with him. He came to take them out of darkness and bring them into the light. 
And elsewhere in the Bible, we're told a bit more about what this really means and why Jesus came. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that's why the angel said it was good news that would cause great joy for all the people. And it's that little word, all, that's so important. And it's why the angel's message still matters today. That news wasn't for a people living then, just then, but for all people. And that's us as well. Jesus, the promised Messiah, didn't just come to save a people living then, but to save all people who would ever live. And we too can know what that means if we only accept the truth of who Jesus is. And I know that many of you here will have already done that. But there might be some who find that hard to accept. Maybe you think it's just part of the Christmas story that gets recycled year in, year out. But today, Saturday the 17th of December, 2022, I want you to know and understand that Jesus really is the Son of God. Born all those years ago in a small little town called Bethlehem. He came into the world so that all who believe in him would be forgiven. He came to save us. He came just as he himself said. So that whoever would follow him will never walk in darkness but have the light of life. Christmas is a time that we celebrate with music and carols, lights and decorations. It's a time where we enjoy getting together, family and friends, we give gifts. And there's, of course, nothing wrong with any of that. But they're only temporary. And for many people, the reality of their Christmas won't have any of that at all. No matter who we are, the darkness that exists in the world will still be there. It's only Jesus who can make a real difference. We live in a world that seems to be ever-changing, but Jesus doesn't change. And the good news of who he is and what he came to do hasn't changed and never will change. Even when times are hard, when life seems full of challenges, when all around seems dark, we can know what it means to have the light of life if we put our faith and trust in him. As the minister of New Life Baptist Church, it's my prayer that this Christmas, all of us would know Jesus, the light that has come into the world. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we want to thank you that this story, this narrative we've listened to today is not just a story. It's history. You stepped into our world. You came to save your people. And Lord, you came as the light of life to take us out of darkness. And I pray, Lord, that you would reveal yourself this Christmas to anyone who just doesn't know you at this time as the light of life. Come, Lord Jesus, I pray. 
And maybe for those who perhaps the light's grown a little bit dim, may you brighten that light again. Lord Jesus, bringer of light, would you alight up this world, we pray, this Christmas. Amen.